Today joining me is a two time Emmy Award winner, also filmmaker and writer. That's Melissa Jo Pelte. Thank you so much for joining us, Melissa. You, you bet, I'm really happy to be here. Yes, and we are happy to have you, particularly because as I understand you have a new film coming out called The Game Is Up. Yes, it's actually out, it's available on Amazon and Google Play uh, and also Tubi and YouTube um, with commercials. But um, they, uh, uh, it's about, um, well, it's about people who change their mind about Trump. People in 2016 who were all in, who over the four years lost, lost the love and feeling. Interesting, interesting. And I would like to hope that there are more people out there than we often see because when we hear from different news media outlets, for some reason they are amplifying the MAGA crowd and crew. So I think a lot of people maybe don't fully appreciate that there are a number of individuals out there who are no longer standing Trump's brigade. And so what made you want to focus on this particular topic? Well, you know, I was I wanted to do something to help and I was I was obviously giving money and I was tweeting and I was doing all that kind of stuff. And but it wasn't enough. I would, you know, like so many people I felt so frustrated and I wanted to use my 30 years of of skill set <laughs> to do something and I was watching on Twitter Joe Walsh uh, in real time change his mind. And it was fascinating to watch it in real time and it happened little by little, it took a year. And it was more than a year actually. And I thought, you know, there's got to be other people like that. There's got to be other people out there. Yes, and I would imagine that hopefully that there are a number of people out there like that who have changed their position and stance. And having this film out here, the game is up in their face, will hopefully maybe help others over the line. And as I understand, we have a few clips, a few moments from the film to show the trailer. When you're in the conservative media world like I was in, you are told to say every day that Donald Trump walks on water. I was told by my bosses to only say good things about Donald Trump. I told them to go f Most of our opinions about Donald Trump do not come from CNN or from MSNBC or from Fox. Most of our opinions about Donald Trump come from Donald Trump himself. People say, oh, I should get over it, I should move on. But it's like, how can you? I mean, they lied about liberals, lied about Democrats, lied about Trump. It's kind of hard to just move on. I know quite a few uh, people my age who are in the Republican Party who they're thinking about leaving the Republican Party. They're thinking about leaving this Trumpism, this phenomenon. I threw up the red flag, I threw up the white flag as a warning that this was bad agricultural policy and it was going to hurt us for a long time. Wow, wow, that is so incredibly powerful. And it does seem like something you could almost watch in real time, as you had mentioned, in terms of watching Joe Walsh finally kind of come to. And what do you think it is that you've seen um, that maybe is something shared by all of the people you interviewed for maybe an impetus that made them finally kind of wake up? Well, you know, I was so naive. I really thought that Joe Walsh was going to be like the canary in the coal mine. You know, he was going to be the first one, and then the rest of the Republican Party would, was going to come along. But uh, obviously, that didn't happen. But I think the one thing that they shared was they all had a sense of integrity that they, when they learned that certain things they believed weren't true, they felt violated. Um, they didn't block out. Well, for, they all did blocked out the, the con contradictions for a while, but they just couldn't keep it up. The cognitive dissonance, and they just couldn't, they couldn't live with it. So they looked at the truth and they changed their mind. Uh, they all had different you know, turning points, but that was the, the general thing that they shared. Wow, I find it. I don't know, it's just somewhat fascinating that people were what they were unwilling to see from the beginning. And I'm wondering, have people started doing that introspective work of asking themselves why they were so willing to be duped by someone who on the surface, so many, I think millions of us knew that the man was nothing but a charlatan and a fraud and also completely unqualified for the position. So I'm wondering if these people who have flipped the script and realized that if they're doing any introspective work to really assess. Why they got duped to begin with? 
All of them did. All of them did. And you know, they all lost a lot. Also, I mean, Joe Walsh lost his radio show, uh, which was doing very well at the time. Um, uh, Bacha Goldberg lost her friends in the Republican Party because all her friends were in the Republican Party. Uh, uh, David Weissman lost a lot of friends, a lot of friends, a lot of people he'd been in the military with called him a traitor for leaving Trump. And uh, the evangelicals also, you know, the two evangelicals, two of the ones we, we profiled, they had to leave their church. They just couldn't take it anymore. They couldn't take it anymore. They had to leave. And, you know, there's a price for <laughs> being honest, but but there's a freedom in it. And, and we talk about that. You know, once, People realize it, they feel different. You know, they, they feel different. I would imagine there is something that is a spark in them. Um, because I think instinctively, we all kind of knew. I think everyone knew at the core, they were just clinging to certain aspects of either it's hope, idealization, or uh, any any kind of bias or nonsense, but at the end of the day, the thing is, is everything was out there for us to see. Um, so I'm glad to hear that. Hopefully, they're doing that introspective work. And as far as it concerns, when it comes to recruiting others to join the dump Trump train uh, and to kind of find the light, I, how is that going for people? Well, you know, that was my original reason for making this film, and why I was so driven to make it. Uh, because I believe that there's people who are in MAGA circles who have a knot in their stomach and they don't know why. And they can't say it, they can't say anything critical about Trump with their friends and neighbors and family because of the church, because everyone else is, is singing his praises and he's the next coming. And it's very, very hard to, to do, to say something when you haven't heard anyone else say it. And I thought, this, especially breaking down exactly how they changed, I thought this would be a way to give them permission to change. Um, I how how it how is it going? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know because the film was only released uh, less than a month ago, and I I don't know if anyone has been changed. But that's the goal. Even if one person changes, you know, my my what I say is show this film to your your the person next door who took down their lawn sign and they don't. Wear the shirt or hat anymore, but they will defend him to the death. You know, but they have that feeling like they know they don't want people to know. So they still that that means there's some doubt there because when there's a little bit of doubt, that's how you change. It, that if they can let have a little bit of doubt and let that in and let the air in, then more comes in, and then finally the whole truth comes in. Yes, without a doubt, planting that little sense of that little seed, uh, and and I really I really like how you are turning the mirror toward people so that they can see, hey, you know, whatever led you down this path, so that you thought that this person was reliable and that they had leadership skills and that they were presidential, um, that that is something that maybe is harboring within you that you should address first so that hopefully it won't happen again. Because it seemed like too many people got sucked in to these ideals, even though so many of us saw them. And I think that's a fear for a lot of us that there's just gonna be another Trump-like cult figure that will lead others. And I see you shaking your head with that one. No, I, I'm so worried about it, you know, I, it, <laughs> it keeps me awake. But, um, and it could be him still, but I think, you know, what, what I love about the people who, who participated in this is we break down their whole steps, step by step. What was the moment? You know, what did they why did they vote for Trump? And you know, liberals are often very judgmental of people who voted for Trump. But you could see in, in this film, at least in 2016, they all had bad information or they were just party loyal. And when they woke up, then they changed. Yes, and that awakening is something that we are all grateful for. But as we're trying to kind of um, maybe wash off the stink and the residue of Trump and hopefully keeping him out of office come 2024. And that's something very scary for us. And I know that you'd mentioned that the game is up, has only been out for about a month now. But so far, what are you hearing from viewers? I'm hearing great stuff. Um, by the way, if you rent it on Amazon, we'd love it if you left a review for us. Because that really helps people find us. But um, we we have last I looked like thirty five five star reviews. Um, 
Uh, people are saying, you know, this is exactly the conversation we need to have. We need to understand that people had their personal reasons, but we also need to understand that they're people. They're people who made mistakes, and if they're willing to admit that they made a mistake, let them in. <laughs> you know, I mean, don't don't keep harping on them that they made this mistake, and I'll never forgive you. When they realize and they admit it. Let them in because we need as many people on the side as possible. Absolutely, absolutely. And I think that's something that's very difficult because we've created this society of perfection. And when people are afraid to say, hey, I was wrong or I didn't get it right. And so having enough people, Walsh, others coming forward and saying, hey, I was duped too, or hey, I got it wrong, my biases came in. I think that can lead the way for a lot of people to admit it themselves. And so I'm really happy that you pulled together the game is up and that you are getting this out there. And again, can you please tell viewers out there who would like to watch the film where they can get it? Okay, you can find it on Amazon. It's $4.99 to rent, so it's not a big cost. And that's that's beautiful 4K, you know, HD. Um, it looks great on there, and it's also uh, commercial free. It's on Google Play commercial free, and it's also on YouTube and on Tubi. So you can, those two are AVOD, so you'll see commercials in those, but they're free. Excellent, thank you so much for joining us. The film is The Game Is Up, and thanks again for joining us. It's Melissa Joe Peltier, thank you, Melissa. Really appreciate it.